Hi folks, Mike here from Random Acts of Cooking again. I'm going to do some more smash burgers tonight. But I got a different slicer this time. I didn't like the way the onions came out. Uh, some thin, some not so thin. So I got this slicer. It's by Mueller, Mueller, whatever you want to say. And it's adjustable from one millimeter to, I think he said six. But anyway, let's see how this thing slices. As an example, oh, now these are coming out real good. It's consistently, consistent slices. I think I got it set at the lowest thing is one millimeter. So, okay, let's get some onions sliced up. Okay, that's about all I can slice. And uh, all that's left is this little chunk on the end, maybe a quarter inch thick. And I am crying. This, <laughs> that's a lot of onion juice here. Anyway, uh... All right, let's get this. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let me clean up this mess and we'll get to the burger part. Okay, here's what we got. We have a pile of onions right here. We have our two quarter pound burger balls right here. Let's wish them a little bit tighter tonight. And uh, two brioche buns that will get toasted. I have provolone cheese, I have some American cheese, and I have some pimento cheese spread. So this is going to be really cheesy burgers, juicy burgers. For seasoning, I'm going to go beyond salt and pepper. I have some Woods Ultimate Steakhouse Burger Seasoning. I got this in Missouri about a year and a half ago. Used a little bit of it. It's pretty good. It's really savory. It's got some peppers, and anyway, it's got a bunch of stuff in it. Oh, well, let's go. Brown sugar, dehydrated garlic, onion, salt, paprika, spices, hickory, smoke flavors, and some other stuff. Anyway, so that's the burgers tonight. I'll see you out at the Blackstone Griddle tonight. I just need a larger surface than I had last night. So, all right, see you outside. Okay, our Blackstone is hot. And I'm going to do this a little bit different tonight. To make sure nothing sticks, I have some, uh, what do you call that? 100% pure avocado oil. So I don't want my bark to pull loose tonight in my crust. So just a little bit of oil. Smoosh that around there a little bit. All right, now we get our balls of meat on here. Make sure I got plenty of room. And I forgot my parchment paper. So we'll just have to hope for the best here. If these smash. Remember your parchment paper, folks. Okay, now a little bit of seasoning. Now we'll put some of those onions on top. Nice pile of onions here. And the rest of them are just going to get sautéed. Yeah, a little bit of seasoning on the onions. Get my buns started toasting here. And I forgot, I'm supposed to smoosh the onions in a little bit here too. I remembered my sharp spatula tonight. Yeah, it's got a little bit of crust on it. Alright, just a small sprinkle with a little bit more seasoning. And 
And I'm going to let those onions caramelize a bit before I put on any cheese. Those power onions are done. Now yeah, let's get some cheese going here. First thing I'm going to put on is a dollop of that pimento cheese spread. We got our provolone, American cheese. We'll go on top of that. Cover that up, let that cheese melt. We're almost done. Home stretch. And here it's sizzling. You know, okay. About 10 more seconds and I'm going to pull them or put them on the buns. Alright. Get them burger on a bun. Mm -mm. Looking good. All right, let's go inside. Give them a little taste. All right, I'm going to say these burgers are done. And if I need some more onion flavor, i got some nice caramelized onion right there. Let's see what it looks like from the side. i got some of that crispy onion, three different cheeses, crusty burger, that's nice. Oh, there's the uh, the onions that are on the bottom. All right, let's take a bite. You're better than last night. I remembered my sharper spatula, but I forgot the uh, parchment paper. It's got a pretty good flavor to it. Not just salt and pepper. It's got salt and pepper in it, but it's got the paprika and a little bit of sugar and stuff. Brown sugar. You know, I, I think these did turn out. Oh, and especially since I have three cheeses on it provolone american and uh, pimento cheese spread homemade more try from the burger flavor caramelized onions a little bit stronger flavor than last night because they didn't cook them long enough anyway looking good two more good burgers all right folks catch you next time bye